Hey guys, Will Patterson here again, and here is another Illustrator CC tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, mountains uh, typographic text over here uh, with all these sort of ornaments in it. Now it's just an abstract way of making mountains of an Illustrator, so it's a good logo for vintage work or just some fun things to do in Illustrator. Now it is a bit difficult to do, so I would suggest advanced users uh, follow along or intermediate users, sorry. Uh, any beginners people, I would go and check out the videos before this um, to make sure you get a feel for what I'm going to do because it's a lot of sort of, not maths, but a lot of things to remember whilst doing this. So hopefully you advanced people will enjoy this video. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go create a new artboard and just down here. If you don't have an artboard uh, panel like this, go up to window and go down to artboards and click on artboard. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to create a triangle like this, a rounded corner triangle. Now the easiest way to do this is to go to your rectangle tool here, hold on it and then go down to your polygon tool. Now when you drag out you'll probably get this big massive polygon uh, like so, but what we want is uh, a rect uh, not a rectangle, a triangle. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this polygon tool uh, and then I'm going to drag out the polygon and then just hold uh, down the um, the bottom arrow button, the bottom arrow key, that's what I'm trying to say. And then we'll just drag that out and we'll have a triangle. I'm going to get rid of this one here. Now we have a triangle. Right, what we need to do now is we need to make sure the corners are rounded. So we're going to highlight this and instead of going to effect, um, distort or what is it, stylize and round corners, there's a very easy way of doing this within Illustrator nowadays in CC. Not in CS6, but only in CC, which is where you highlight it, go to your direct selection tool by pressing A, and then you'll get these little um, sort of dots in each corner just next to the anchor points. And when you click on one of them and drag down, it will round the corner and it will rasterize it straight away, um, which is a really cool way of just making sure you have rounded triangles or rounded corners. You can also round certain corners, so you can just highlight a certain corner and round that one um, and it won't affect the rest so that's a really cool thing. Okay, The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to switch the fill to the stroke um, and I'm going to leave the fill uh, blank so there's nothing in there, we don't want anything in there. I'm going to switch the stroke up to 20 points um, and I'm working with a 1280 by 720 artboard and I've got my rich black settings on my colour swatch here and it's a spot colour just so you know. So I want to get rid of this um, fill colour, just go back Awesome, now we have this triangle. Now what we want to do is, I'm going to just probably lower this down a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and we're going to rasterize it or we're going to expand it. But not by going to expand, we're going to go to object path and then outline stroke. Um, and that's the way that it's easily done. Next thing we want to do is we're going to focus on this uh, triangle bit here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to copy and paste it. And the easiest way to do it is to hold alt drag and then shift and we're going to do it to about here and now we've got two of these now what we need to do is we need to remember a few things here when it comes down to um, the pathfinder function because we're going to be using this like anything in a minute so we need to uh, remember that this is two separate shapes and we need to try and find places where it needs to be cut I'm going to zoom in on these triangles so you can see Okay, so it is a bit distorted because I've used a roughen tool and it's all just come out a tiny bit. But on these triangles here, you can see there's bits cut out of it and there's bits not. Now the easiest way to do this is by what I'm going to show you. Okay, so we need to copy one of these because we're going to use the um, offset tool to create an offset of this shape on a different copy to minus front from this triangle here. So it sounds difficult, but it's a quite, a, it's sort of a tricky process, but it's easy once you understand it. So we're just going to highlight this one here, and I want to create a cut over here. So I'm going to highlight it, press copy, command C or control C, and then command F or control F to paste in front. And then I'm going to go ahead with this and literally press M. I'm going to just create a section where I want to keep part of the copy triangle that I have here. I press undo. So I'm just, I've made this selection here with my um, marquee tool. And then I'm gonna highlight uh, both the, this triangle and this square. 
and I'm going to go ahead and go to this one here which is intersect now that's left me with just this part here of the shape that was being cut so now we only have one triangle and this sort of shape here with this sort of shape we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go press object path offset path we'll preview it I like that so we'll press OK and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we're going to offset this uh, correctly so the first thing I want to do is want inside this shape I'm going to just uh, lock this shape here so we don't press it by pressing command 2 and then I'm going to go ahead and press command, uh, shift and E and I'm going to cut away at some of this layer here because we want it to just affect um, this triangle and not this one here so I'm just cutting away at the moment of um, this part of the triangle awesome so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight this one by shift clicking on it and I'm just going to go and minus front and now we have um, the cut on the triangle that we wanted now the same thing is true when we go down here we're going to do the same here so I'm going to press command C and command F and then I'm going to choose my marquee tool I'm going to marquee the specific section here I'm going to highlight um, a triangle intersect object path and then offset path now here's an important thing you don't want to change any of these values now because you've already uh, created a certain size of cut and we want to keep that consistent awesome so now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same I'm just going to press command 2 to um, make sure that that stays um, in the right place so we don't move the inner shape but we just want to move the offset I'm going to highlight the offset shape here press shift and E to get my eraser out I'm going to go ahead and just increase my brush size a bit I want to make the cut over here so I'm going to just um, make sure that we're uh, going to do that correctly making sure we're not going to cut around anything we're not supposed to do So it's kind of a bit of a tricky process to get your head around. Awesome. Now we're object path. Um, not object and path, but we're going to just minus front from this shape. Hopefully it will work. Yep, and then we minus front from there. And that's how it's done right there. And that is basically the way that you do it. I'm not going to show you the other bit of it because that's sort of easy to do. And then what you do is you just highlight them all and press unite. If you don't have your Pathfinder options here, go up to Window, and go all the way down to Pathfinder, or press Shift, Command or Control, F9, and it will pop up, and it will help you. Awesome, so the next part of this is I want to show you uh, probably these parts, which are the easiest parts. So the easiest way to do this um, would be, I think there's a few ways of doing it. So I'm going to go ahead, press M, we'll just create sort of a little thing here and we're going to create another triangle just like so and we're just going to move uh, these in a tiny bit as well make sure that they're, they're not uh, that their corners are rounded and then we're just going to move this down here like so we're going to expand this a tiny bit to make it fit bring it up a bit and then what we do is make sure it's not overlapping or anything uh, then what we do is we make sure that this triangle is in the center of this we'll just zoom in that this triangle here is in the center of this rectangle and we do this by selecting both of them and selecting the rectangle again which will give it a border line around it and press horizontal uh, just a horizontal one oop did it wrong highlight them click again horizontal and making sure that this is in there then we need to make this to one shape so highlight them both and then go down to your pathfinder options and press unite to unite them both and then you can go ahead and make these into sort of round corners here and that's how you do that one and what I generally do is this is you could just shove it here and then just copy it over here we'll just uh, make these a bit smaller just so it's easy for us all to see 
Oh, hang on a sec as well, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll make these smaller. We're going to move these. Can you see these bits here? We don't actually want these bits anymore. You'll probably find some bits that you don't actually need in there, so you might as well cut them out. We'll just group them together and move them down. Now, the next bit is here. It's probably the easiest bit. Um, is this bit here, which is a sun. Now, I'm going to just get my um, rulers out by pressing Command and R. And we'll need these just as a guide. I'm going to press Command and Semicolon to get uh, this guide up. Okay, we need the blob brush tool, so press Shift and B, which will bring it down for you. And the values that we'll have it set to, I think, if I've got it correct, yep. Yeah. Uh, we want it just accurate, all the way down to accurate in the fidelity options. I've got my size at 4, variation of 0, because I want to keep it the same. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create a small, not very nice circle there. I'm just going to create a line going this way. And then what we're going to do, I believe, is create a line up here like so. Um, like that, if I can. And then we're going to go ahead and copy that with the Alt and Shift. I'm just going to move this in place with the free transform tool by pressing E. Move that into place like so. So we have that. I mean, it's not looking too bad. We may need to edit this a tiny bit. Then we're going to go ahead and press B and just bring this down, one down by holding Shift down vertically and this is a very rough version but you can edit this to whatever you like then we're going to highlight all these and we're going to press O to get our reflection tool zoom in and we're going to somewhere around here like in the center of the circle press alt and click preview and then copy it vertically and then move it so it's symmetrical and then we're going to highlight them both and unite them together to create one shape, which will create sort of a cool sunset. It doesn't look as good as this one, I don't think, but um, you need to roughen it. And then with the mountains one, I won't show you that because there's other videos. But that is how you created the create the type uh, the sort of typographic ornaments is what they're called, or the sort of uh, weird ornaments within Illustrator. I'll just give you a good preview of that. There you go. And then you can create whatever you want around it. And that's how you create this sort of weird logo type. I hope you guys understood. If you had any questions, then please uh, ask them in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. And if you like these sort of design tutorials, then subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter for more updates of videos at WillPatterson10. Um, the link will be in the description for my Twitter. Also, Prophesy Apparel is uh, releasing, hopefully releasing, should I say, a new t-shirt by the end of July, start of August, uh, and I'm looking forward to that t-shirt. It's called Death Has Been Defeated, and I guess you guys will like it as well. Um, follow me on all platforms. I've got a Patreon page, so if you want this file on Patreon um, just to work on, you can have this file for, well, for if you're a paid patron, should I say. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for everything. We're nearly at 7,000 subscribers, so very exciting. Have a nice day. Thank you.